Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to do a Harry Potter shop with me vlog. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, yes, we are going to be heading out to shop for some Harry Potter merchandise. I want to go to Barnes & Noble for sure and TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Sometimes they've got some hidden Harry Potter finds in those shops, so I want to check them out. Barnes & Noble for sure will have Harry Potter merch, but <laughs> we'll stop at some other shops along the way. And I also wanted to show off the shirt that I'm wearing today. So it says, Sunshine Daisies Butter Mellow. Turn that stupid fat rat yellow. <laughs> so this shirt is from After Color. They kindly sent this over and a few other goodies that I unboxed on my Instagram, but I'll be definitely wearing them, I'm sure, on some more videos here on YouTube. But I just love this one. I think this was my favorite out of the few that they sent me. But let's go ahead and head out the door and go shopping. So I started off at this thrift store and they had a bunch of cute stuff. I love how they have it set up in here but I found two Harry Potter items. This first one was this snow globe of Hermione, only $8, and she's practicing Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> and here's the licensing information on the bottom, and a little twirl, <laughs> so pretty. And then for this Funko board game, it was $16. I think you can still find these at Target. And I ended up not getting the snow globe because her legs are broken, as you see there. Otherwise, I would have totally took her home. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. All right, so now I'm back from the thrift store and I did stuff in TJ Maxx. I didn't show you anything in TJ Maxx because they literally had no Harry Potter stuff. I bought myself a pair of sunglasses because I broke mine over the weekend. So, got new sunglasses. Um, but that's it and now I just went to Starbucks and I tried to order a butterbeer frappe but as I was ordering it I well not as I was ordering it after I ordered it I realized there's no coffee in it so we'll give this a taste because it's a vanilla bean caramel f wait what did I order the vanilla bean frappe, three pumps of caramel syrup, three pumps of toffee nut syrup, and then extra caramel drizzle. So this is supposed to taste like butterbeer. I mean, butterbeer doesn't have coffee in it, so I guess that's what I ordered, because that's what I googled about. How to order, <laughs> I googled how to order a butterbeer at Starbucks, and this is what came up. And I don't know why, I thought there was gonna be coffee. But I did order a backup drink, which is a caramel macchiato and that has coffee in it. So we're going to mix this up a little bit and give it a go. Hmm. Definitely very sweet. Oh my God, that's really sweet. But I don't know. It's not giving butterbeer. It has a good flavor though, for sure. This is what it looks like. When I when he handed it to me and it was super white, I'm like, oh yeah, there's gonna be no coffee. But that's fine. I think there's a butterbeer latte you can get. And that's what I should have looked up. This is just trying to be like butterbeer from the parks, I think. Or their version of it. So what would I give this out of 10? I would give this a six out of 10. Maybe a 7 out of 10, or a 6.5. <laughs> it just doesn't taste that much like butterbeer. It has a toffee caramel flavor, so I guess it's kind of getting close to that. It's not bad, it just doesn't really taste like butterbeer. So I give it a 6.5 out of 10 because at least it's good. It is very sweet if you want something like desserty and kind of like butterbeer. You could get this one. <laughs> I'll leave how I ordered it down in the description box if you are interested. It looks cute. There's lots of caramel in here. It really just tastes like a vanilla bean frappe with some extra stuff to make it sweet. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys have tried this before or if you're gonna try it, but it was fun. 
So this isn't a licensed Harry Potter item, but I did find this lantern that really reminded me of Hagrid's lantern, but it was $40 and the Noble Collection one is only $50, I believe. And then they have this giant lion head, very much Gryffindor vibes. And then this hourglass that I thought was really pretty and that would totally be something you'd find in Dumbledore's office. And it was $24.99. And here is a magnifying glass. It looks super fancy. Totally something you would find also in Dumbledore's office. And these were a $19.99. They did have two of them. All right, back in the car again. We just went to Home Goods. They had some things that were kind of like Dumbledore esque, but they had no Harry Potter license items. I even popped into Home Goods because I was like, I wonder if they have any like cute little owls or something that I could use for the top of my bookshelves. Nothing, not even bird cages. They had nothing. <laughs> so it's been pretty much a bust today. I want to check out Barnes and Noble, but it is pretty far from here. So I don't know if I'll do it today. Maybe I'll do it another day and then maybe put like the two days together and show you everything because if I drive all the way over to Barnes and Noble I would like to have time to kind of stop at other places over there as well and I wouldn't have time to do that today so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I think I'm just gonna head back home end the shopping for today here and then pick it up again tomorrow or the next day it just depends on when I have time to run over there but I will see you guys then all right I just got to Books A Million um, in the parking lot and before this I was at PetSmart because I needed to pop in and get some shampoo for my dog and they had a couple Harry Potter um, toys so I will show you those now. So there's this Harry Potter one and this little Daily Prophet one. They're so cute. I did not pick one up though. So I didn't pick up any of those while I was on this trip. I really just needed the dog shampoo, but I did get her the like uh, Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans kind of toy from that line a while ago, but they didn't have any more. If they did, I would get them because she is obsessed with that toy. <laughs> but now that I'm at Books A Million, I'm going to show you what Harry Potter stuff they have right now. And then after here, I don't know if I'm going to pop into Hot Topic. I might because it's in this mall. And then I'll be going over to Barnes & Noble and checking their Harry Potter stuff out. If I didn't mention this is like a few days later from the previous clips. I had to wait till the weekend to go shopping for Harry Potter stuff again. I just didn't have time throughout the week like I was hoping I would. And then today's shirt is a Butterbeer shirt. <laughs> kind of looks like, I think it's Budweiser. I don't really drink beer, but... I thought it was kind of cute how it was designed. And this is also from Shop After Color. This is what I purchased with my own money. But yeah, enough about the clothes. Let's head into Books A Million. Books A Million always has so many Harry Potter goodies. This table was full of them. There were these conversation cards that I've never seen before. It's by Insight Editions, and it was $24.99, 125 questions. <laughs> and then here's some Harry Potter Patronus cards and notebook. This notebook was really pretty, or journal, I guess I should say. Kind of gives you prompts, and you can answer them. And then here are the cards. I didn't go through them since they are plastic wrapped, but they look really pretty. And those cards were $22. Here are the unofficial Harry Potter books. This one's The Companions, Volume 1, Sorcerer's Stone for $14.99. And a little flip through. And then Dumbledore, The Lies and Lies, also a Harry Potter unofficial. And this one was $16.99. It's very thick. Got some candy, some other books, and here are some cute playing cards. I love the tin that they're in and only $8.99.
this Marauder's Map soup mug. <laughs> it's so big for $12.99. This divination ball was $13.99. They also had the Monster Book of Monsters, $14.95. This Quidditch pint glass. And then a bunch of books and journals. There's a lot of like craft style books over here and they still have the Privet Drive signs. They had a bunch of them today. I've never seen this sketchbook. It's like a how to draw Harry Potter book for $19.99. Then we had this Knitting Magic book for $29.99. Little flip through, bunch of patterns to make your own sweaters and hats and scarves. Then over here, they had a bunch of different items, all Harry Potter, a bunch of bookmarks. These magnetic bookmarks, only $3.99. More Harry Potter playing cards, $5.99. This bookmark is also $3.99. They had this on sale for only $20. Some pencils for $9.99. Then this Hogwarts crest definitely caught my eye. Looks super cool. $21.99. It was very heavy. Hard holding on one hand. And then here is a book sleeve. It kind of felt like a sleeping bag material. For $14.99 of the Marauder's Map. Then we had some Conquest Journal stationery. This desk pad was $9.99. They've got like a to-do list notepad for $7.99. Then up here we have a Howler bag. I've never seen this one before. It was super gorgeous, but pretty pricey, $67.99. It's a Danielle Nicole bag. It has a chain link strap. And here's me trying to open it up. It was very tight. I don't know how someone would use this. I don't feel like you would fit a lot of stuff in here, but it does look really pretty. It would look great with an outfit. <laughs> here's some jewelry. And they had one of these little pop things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Only $6.99. Super fun to play with. This Hogwarts sticker. $3.99. And then back to this side. Then we had all the Harry Potter books over here, the illustration version, paperback, hardcover. And then here is the front side of this table that I showed you earlier. It has some more Harry Potter goodies. This Herbology notebook with some really cute tabs, $12.99. And even the inside is cute. Mandrake plant for $12.99. The cute little screaming face. They had some more of these smaller figures. The Niffler for $13.95 and a screaming mandrake. And this Hogwarts watch for $21.99. Also the Fantastic Beast books and some more games. All right, I just left Quick Million and I did purchase some things. So when I get back home, I'll show you all the stuff that I got. And I got a couple Harry Potter things and then a couple things that weren't Harry Potter related. I got some books. But <laughs> I'm excited to show you those things. I did pop into Hot Topic, but it was super busy in there and they only had a tiny section for Harry Potter. And most of it I showed you in the last like Shop With Me Harry Potter vlog. So I didn't think it was worth getting my camera out for. So now I'm at Barnes and Noble and I'm excited to go in there. There is one thing that I know for sure I want and then 
if there's anything on sale or something that catches my eye, I might purchase it. But I know I have one thing that I definitely want to get from here. So let's go ahead and head into Barnes & Noble. Heading to the back of the store where they have all the Harry Potter magical items. Here is a bunch of plushies. A lot of them are Noble Collection. The Noble Collection Marauder's Map. $34.95. Conquest Journals. Travel Journal. $28.99. Some board games and puzzles. They even had this Funko Pop of Dumbledore with Hogwarts. This Magical Creatures for $29.95. Little Hedwig. And Uno for $10.99. I have this, I love it. This little time turner. And they also had the Mandrake Magical Creature for $29.95. These bookmarks by Noble Collection for $24.95. So cute someone put the sorting hat on this little girl and all these ones were behind the cashier area all right i'm back from barnes and noble and i did stop into target i had to get a couple like grocery things i had to get plates and olive oil fun stuff um i did check and see if they had anything new harry potter but they didn't so i didn't bother filming in there either but but I did, of course, film in Barnes & Noble, which you would have just seen. And I'm excited to show you the thing that I bought. You might be able to guess it. I don't know. I did show it to you. But let's go ahead and head back home to the Harry Potter room. And I will show you all the fun things that I picked up today. Just got home and look at Miss Nosy Buddy. Hey! <laughs> Bella! That's just thirsty from all that work. All right, let's get to the haul. All right, now to show you all the things that I picked up while I was shopping. So mainly it's Books A Million and Barnes & Noble. So from Books A Million, I got quite a few things. First thing I got, this is something I was looking at the last time I was at Books A Million with you guys, and I didn't pick it up then, and they only had one left. So I was like, you know what? I really liked it then, and I wanna get it. So. It is this, this desk map of the Marauders map. <laughs> desk map of the Marauders map. <laughs> I feel like that's a tongue twister. But I can't wait to put this on my desk. I'll have to show you it out of the box and on my desk. So let's just go ahead and take it out real quick. So it feels like a mouse pad, but bigger. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is gigantic. Is that upside down? <gasps> So cool. Love it. Okay, so I think this is going to look so good on my desk because it's so plain and this is going to spruce it up a little bit and it'll be useful and functional. The next thing I got, this is something I've actually purchased in the past, but I needed another one and I like that they sold them separately. Last time I bought this, I think I bought it in a three pack, but it's just these notepad and it's by Conquest Journal. And it's just super cute. It says Aki on the top. Let me take it out of the plastic wrap. It was only $7.99. Alright, here it is out of the plastic wrap. Look at all the cute little emblems. But I love notepads like this. I like that it's lined. It's really easy to do like to-do list or shopping list. And it's magnetic so I can attach it to my fridge if I want to. And yeah, it's just a bunch of pages. How many did it say? 50 sheets. So this does last quite a long time and I'm happy to pick one up. All right, next thing is in this little bag, kind of heavy. <laughs> so it's like cement, I don't know, resin. It's really heavy and it's of the Hogwarts crest. So pretty in gold 
and it looks like it's on a stone that like we took right from Hogwarts or something. It has like almost like little green paint of like moss or something. I don't know. It looks really cool. I thought this would look great on the wall somewhere in here and it does have a way to hang it up if you want to. You could probably like angle it on a little stand or something too if you want to put it on your shelves. But it is really nice quality, good weight and I just really liked it. So it has the licensing information on the back as well as the price. So it was $21.99. But yeah, happy to pick this up. I'm not sure if this is available online or the other things that I purchased, but if they are, I will link them down in my description box below. And the last two items were just some books. So these were recommended to me and I finally finished A Court of Thorns and Roses, like the whole series, books one through five. Yeah, there was five. <laughs> what am I missing? Yeah, I just finished Silver Flames and that one was really good. So the second one and the fifth one were my favorites. I really did like the characters in the last one because kind of like a spinoff, I think. At first, I wasn't sure if I enjoyed those books. Like the first one was pretty slow, but then I don't know. I got really attached to the characters, so I ended up really liking them. But now I am ready to start some other books, getting through my TBR, and I still have plenty I need to read, but I still picked up two more books. <laughs> so I got Songs of Achilles, which I've heard a lot of great things about. I heard this one makes you cry. It's like Greek mythology, that kind of realm. But I am excited to finally read this. I've been wanting to pick it up, so yeah, I picked that up. And then the next thing I bought was the Unhoney Mooners. So this is more like romance, I believe. So yeah, and this is what the cover looks like. It's really pretty. I did see this one recommended on TikTok a lot and it looked like a fun, easy read. So yeah, I got that. It's pouring outside right now and when it's like thundering and lightning, Bella gets a little scared, so she's in here right now. And I have to give her some lovin's. <laughs> yes, I do. You scared? So if you hear her going through some of the bags and stuff, that's just what that is. And now she's up here. <laughs> Love her. All right, the next thing we're gonna show you is what we got at Barnes and Noble. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so it is the Monster Book of Monsters plushie. And I've recently been wanting to pick this one up. And when I realized that this is actually $10 cheaper at Barnes and Noble than it is on Noble Collections website, I've been waiting to make another trip there and pick it up. I want to put this in my reading nook area. Bella wants to chew it probably. <laughs> but it is really cute and detailed. I love the little mouth and the tongue. And then we've got to stroke the spine so it doesn't attack us. And oops, I have to upside down. And it says the monster book of monsters. <laughs> and it's got the little eyes. So yeah, it's really detailed and it is by the Noble Collection and it was only $39.99 versus $49.99 that Noble Collection has on their website. So, and I think like most retailers, I think that's even 40 bucks online. Again, if I find it, I will list it in my description box, but yay. This is gonna look so cute in my reading nook. <laughs> All right, the last thing I picked up was from Target and it's not Harry Potter related, but I wanna do something with it that might be Harry Potter related. I got a picnic basket out of their like one to five dollar area. And look how cute. <laughs> There's some thunder. But yeah, I thought this was adorable. It was only five dollars. And I wanna do like a Harry Potter picnic. So I picked this up. <laughs> and I didn't get this this trip, but I went there somewhat recently and I don't think I've showed you guys here on YouTube, but I think I showed people on Instagram. So if you're not on Instagram, I'm gonna show you here. I picked up the chocolate frog throw pillow that they had and I'm so happy I did. So I've been eyeing it for a while. I was hoping it went on clearance because I saw it went on clearance at some other states target, but the one here in Florida by me, not on clearance yet. And I didn't wanna miss out on it. So I just went ahead and bought it. This does retail for $19.99 and I really do like it. They have a version of this which I would have shown you when I was at Barnes & Noble and that one's the Noble Collection one and unzipped and there's a chocolate frog inside and I think that one was $40 as well and that one might be $40 there but $50 at Noble Collection too. I'll check and I'll put some text on the screen if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I did get this 
somewhat recently and this is from Target and I wanted to show you it's so cute and it lives on my reading nook. So that's gonna wrap up today's Harry Potter shop with me. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more of these types of videos or if you want to see just some dedicated shop tours of like just Books A Million or just Barnes & Noble let me know down in the comments and as always if you like today's video please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!